perks. <laughs> hi. I'm here. Uh, hi. I'm running a little... What? Whatever. <laughs> Sorry. It's weird. Um... Land or Fortress. In case that wasn't obvious. Yeah. Here. Um, oh, and there's... And uh, had the game open, but I wasn't doing anything. Coming up. Hi. Can I help you? Four fortress. Um, if you recall or don't recall, we are working on flooding. Our first cave layer. Why? Uh, sorry, I'm just going. Yeah, there we go. Colors! Hooray! We're flooding our caves with magma so that the fish no longer have lakes to hide in. The main task right now. Also, trying to not die. Um, we're, we're, just, we're waiting on this one screw and pause while I satisfy this creature. Um, I don't know. It's been a strange week for things that I probably don't depth about. Uh, also probably not get, being fully picked up by my microphone because I'm mumbling to myself sitting far away. Ah. Uh, a bull is fighting. Why? Fix the animal dice. Well, probably because you were being slaughtered. Trying to hatch ravens and failing for whatever reason. Bunch there. Locked these doors. Okay. Here. Oh, now we're saving. The chicken's being hauled to the nest box just fine. Anyway. Uh, as I was saying, it's been a weird week. Some of the reasons are obvious, some are not. But I'm here. We're here. We're playing Dwarf Fortress, so everything's fine. As long as the save complete. I usually back up my save files right before stream, but I didn't get a chance to, so. If today is the day that it crashes and ruins everything, that will just be perfect. Is there a pile of crafts in this next nest box? The pen. <laughs> some some stuff is kind of weird. Things get put in very strange places sometimes. There. The, the osprey is, is where it should be. It just also has a whole bunch of crowns. <laughs> um, oh, our stray giant cardinal. That's been here for a long time. Now it's dead. Giving birth to things. Oh, I just I put in a whole bunch of orders for, for gelding a bunch of animals, so maybe we'll have fewer animals to butcher going forward. Theory. Um, 
remember if we have a Forgotten Bees at this moment. So we have Bill here. Uh, a whole bunch of cavefish people. That's what we're working on. And no Forgotten Bees. We had like three last time. They've all been killed by not me. That's cool. Um, the thing we're waiting on here is we need one screw to come from here. Yeah, so working on it. Screw. Once that's made, I think we'll be good. Crash is being taken out. I think we just re we pulled the lever at the end of last stream, so this is all stuff that's been prepared. I've, I've paused my burrows. They're probably coming down to, to grab. This whole defense of, defensive structure. Finished it last stream and then tested it and it didn't do what I wanted it to do. I don't know what to do with this now. I think in the immediate term I'm going to remove that. So that they don't have to walk all the way around. Every time. Uh, nil wants quivers and boots. Goodness. Oops. One, two. No, not anteen ballistic. in the way. Three. Three. Boot. Three. Size. Booger. Done. Be satisfied. Uh, so the idea here was that things would come in from the cave through here, walk over traps, and then go on to this bridge. And come here and press the pressure plate. And then as they were like pathing over these bridges, the drawbridge would retract and dump them all into the lava. Which kind of worked. Uh, problem one was that dwarves wanted to leave the same way. They, were, they kept coming out here to try and grab equipment. Everything was forbidden and the road did not leave. And do what they want sometimes, so that didn't work. And there were dwarves on the bridge as things were coming in, dwarves dodging off the bridge into the lava. Predictable happened. That was cool. So as as impenetrable as these defenses are, it still killed two soldiers. Brought all their gear with them. Um, what was the other problem? The other problem was that I... Oh, look out. Probably one of our... One of our friends. Uh, Ghostly Tavern Keeper. Oh, that was a little while ago. That was killed by... Child? Maybe? I don't know. We've had some deaths. <laughs> we need a slab. Here. Hold on. That. Ghost. Anyway. Uh um. Random buckets on the. I've, I've locked the doors so that maybe the dwarves leave the eggs without me having to forbid it through the stockpiles and stuff, but not happening. 
female. This is a female. The male that's hide right there. They're gonna come and grab the eggs. Hey, we found rock crystal finally. Corkscrew has been made. Um, we are viable thread. Booms. Oh. Auto looming. We still have where we have plenty of wool. If I tell someone to go grab webs, I'm hesitant to do that because I'm sure they'll go down into the first cave and find some fish people and get themselves in trouble. Not quite safe. Leaf, bro leaf blowers outside. I assume you can't hear that. Doesn't seem to Um, those are canceling because lack of thread, not lack of dye. Curious. Let's check out our stocks. We haven't really fiddled with our textile industry in a little bit. I'm sure everything's a disaster. Go to. I'm curious if we used all of our pigtails. And meats, pump helmets. We have some pigtails, not much. A whole bunch of dimple cups. Fine. Um, and then for thread. That's just it's gonna count all the stuff that's in the caves. thousand cave spider thread just laying around. Not to mention all the forget. Look at all this. We have have thread. Keep an eye on that for now. Hey, we're making glass blocks. Hooray. Stray giant wolverine has been missing for a week. Someone has stolen my wolverine. Uh, administrator fighting a dog. Mountain goat kids. Fine. Yeah, it's gonna be. Being for construction. This is connected. Yep. And this is invisible, but there. <laughs> for whatever reason. Um, and then this is our on button. Yeah. This was all fine. Oh, this call got dug too. Okay. Oh. I do. Like this. Put in a floodgate. She 
cheese. More cheese. You have so much cheese. want to develop our military bring the fight to the goblins on the world map We need to make more steel stuff. Okay. Uh, Ray elves. Floodgates. Um, I do want to choose because this needs to be magma safe. Bro, confirm. I'll be fine. Then we can hook that up and then close it off and then dump some more down into here. This is all getting ready to evaporate anyway, so it's not that critical, but I think it'll help us along. Or obsidian, why not? my phone here. Listening to leaf blow. There is a DF hack that'll be that I haven't messed with yet. Auto clothing. This can just tell us some information, even if we don't use it to do things. Allows you to set how many of each clothing type every citizen 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 should have. Citizen should have. That's what my mouth's trying to do. Uh, let's see. When invoked without parameters, it shows a summary of all managed clothing orders. We're not managing any. The overall clothing situation in your fort. Okay. When invoked with material and item but without quantity, shows the current configuration for that material and item. Two auto clothing. Or Currently set zero automatic orders. Makes sense. Following units need new bodywear. 27 dwarves and 9 humans. Following units need headwear. All of them. I mean, that's... Oh, hi. Or no. Okay. Um... Footwear. We have available footwear for... 42 cougar, cougar men. Um, that those the cougar men sized stuff can be worn by dwarves and humans, so I'm not worried about that. I'm interested that it is placing them differently. Um, but we have available four 152 four. We don't need as much as I thought. I mean, we need headwear, but they don't need headwear. They get unhappy thoughts from tops, bottoms, and feet, I believe. You know, chest, pants, and, and shoes, socks. Um, but a lack of hat doesn't really call cause an unhappy thought. That's not so bad. We're not as bad. At, not. Uh, we're not in as bad of a situation as I thought we were. 
except for the words leaving my mouth. <laughs> um, I'm going to leave that as it is. I would love to be able to just manage it on my own. We have some orders in here. There's several orders in here, but it's spread across all the different stuff. Um, we do have a collect webs job going. Ooh. Your parameters. There we go. Die three. Told the of hack down here, I told it to sort at one point, and I don't know how it sorts. Not in any way that I would have thought sort it. <laughs> uh restream chat is just being weird, yes. Fine, everything's broken. This won't trigger because all of the webs on the ground count towards this number, right? Do not type, it's do. Okay. There's a tip for you. Um, this will now evaluate how much thread we have actually collected, as opposed to how much thread is on the ground that we have seen. They're two very different <laughs> numbers right now, considering all of the webbing forgotten beasts that have gone around and flatted everything. Um... I mean, that's the simple answer. That will at least get people going out to collect webs. Whether or not that's super dangerous right now, the answer is yes. But they can deal with it. There's a bunch of webs that they can get to. There's webs in the fortress itself that are perfectly fine to get. You just know that they're gonna find the dangerous ones before the safe ones. Um, I'm seeing a lot of wrap stuff on the ground, like rings and such, so I'm wondering if those have proper space. Here. That's supposed to be this supposed to be our worn clothing, right? This was rings specifically because our queen didn't like me exporting rings. Let's do this. Let's get rid of this. File. This one can expand that space. Now you can accept things again. That'll help. And all our food is getting collapsed into into barrels and such. Finally, all of these are getting taken care of. All this lie. Okay. Stuff is getting used, stuff is getting moved. How much leather still? Um, this is supposed to be thread, this is supposed to be clothes. This is everything. Simple dot. Big tails, plump helmets. Rename some of these. Specifically, dimple cups. And this is dimple dye stocks. Uh, 
up. I'll come in. No, cool. Cheese. All the main food stuff is bad. But it has with stuff in them. All this cheese. We have a lot of cheese. I actually told them to stop milking. We have so much cheese. Collect webs is gonna show up. I believe I told. That one's tied to this loom specifically. This one's just gonna sit here and collect. All these others are gonna be. Yeah, okay. Fine. Then dye will happen. See, the dyeing is happening. We have dye, have thread. Then clothes would also just have. Okay. So, in theory, oh, hey, the cat's there. Dude. Are you fertilizing? <laughs> I'm unclear. I'm unclear on a lot of things. I don't think they need to be like that close. I think they need to be in the area. They don't need to physically interact to fertilize an egg. As far as I know. There are clearly things I don't know. Um, the elves want us to not kill trees. We haven't needed to go through that many. 55 trees is a, a lot. I need that many. Fine. I don't care about trade agreements. I'm curious why. And we have a bunch of wool. I believe I have a job in here to turn wool into law. Or they won't be able to die. Wool is different. Wool doesn't. Wool is never thread. Oh. Trousers. Somebody, I even have caps in here. I don't know why those aren't getting. Those are cloth specifically. Weave thread into cloth, so that's going to be the plant thread. Look. Weave yarn into cloth. Bye. Unused, un unused, collected yarn thread. Yarn thread isn't a thing. It's just it's wool. Weave yarn into like that works fine. Well, shearing. Weave yarn into cloth. Shop. Like, and this is the, the default thing, even, but I don't think it's quite. How do I add? Uh, okay. Or no. The activation of the work order depend on the status of another work order. That's something that I've never really done before. You can have 
one work order trigger another? Like you could do... You have a, a milk work order and a cheese work order, and the cheese work order just triggers when you, when the milk one finishes. You can tie things together like that. It's something I haven't really done. Probably useful. Um, add a condition. That's what I want. I want... Darn. Darn item. Wool item. Weave yarn into cloth. Not yarn. That's why I'm confused. Hello again, creature. Wool. Types of wool. Air slash wool items. That's what we want. Why the right click takes me all the way back. Okay. Amount of at least four. See, sometimes you can the leaf blower, like right there. Sometimes you can test to see if you have a work order put in correctly, because if I do, you know, one and it's satisfied, if I do 500, 1,000, so this is telling me it's probably not set up correct. If I don't think I have a 1,000 wool, um... also check to see if it triggers. How about that? Well, hey, well, that's the one we had to manually. I got excited. Let's see if it pops up here. I don't think we have a thousand wool lying around, but we actually might. <laughs> if we haven't been using it at all. I thought we were. I thought I was seeing what yarn stuff be made. Be Wool yarn, llama wool yarn, echo wool yarn. Turns. This is as far as I know, there's not a turn wool into a thread. You go from wool to bomb. Check. Once more quivers. I mean, the, the alternative is I can literally just come in and Add weave yarn into cloth and put it on repeat and let them go until it's done. That's less satisfying. That would fix the immediate problem. This is. Bearing fish. 
that fatty pentacle finished fire flux voltage detector item. Glass. Old band. Hard. Fun. Cool. Legendary. Squid, <laughs> lime, magma stave. Cold milk. Murdered item. Nearby items. I wonder what that one does. Box. Unpressed. Offering placement. Pearl. Plant. Powder. Accessible. Undisturbed will the opposite of um, collective for thread. A uh, thread that's just kind of out in the world and is just kind of placed there by a thing that's undisturbed. Uh, Unengraved, unimproved, unrotten. Pops up and that then it works. Uh, let's check up here. Yeah, got made. Little power ten. Uh, oh, I need to rebuild this axle because I removed it. Now I can't see my UI. Double axle. Good. Fucking um, webs is happening. Which should have helped out with the dying. Dying the thread, not full dying. <laughs> um, fights are happening downstairs. Pertinent vegetation. Oh no! I, I've never seen that one before. We had a, something has grown in our bathhouse and it has ruined a masterful engraving. <laughs> Here. Okay, well, that's one reason not to do this. Yeah, I hell. Uh, needs one unused collected yarn thread. Leave yarn in the corner. Unused collection. I think that's right either. Hmm. I'm going to ask the wiki. Have uh, right here. Yarn. Yun yarn. Yarn is a type of thread spun from wool. I select a group. Yes. Yarn can be woven into cloth. Yarn cloth can then be used to create textiles. Work with a spinner label labor. And process wool into yarn. 
Farmer's Workshop with the Spin Thread Goblet. That one I'm missing. Spin Thread! Clearly haven't done this. Um... Oh, that's and if even if I try this that tells me that that's probably correct I'm gonna do three at a time um that will turn it into yarn. Is the thread. Then that is what goes into this job. Try that. See if that works. The migrants, goodness. Hello, you are a cheesemaker. Blessed be the cheesemaker. You are a armor. Cool. How good are you? Hey, come back here. Novice. Everything. Novice armors. Okay, that's fine. Child. Another child. Trader. Metal crafter. Cool. What are you? Talented metal crafter and a novice surgeon. Uh, craft dwarf. Clothes maker. Leather worker. Look, a llama. You brought your own llama. And milker. We've been using those. A feet. Hug. Off it goes. <laughs> Potash maker. Uh, planter. And a cavey pup. <laughs> and alpaca. All the things we like. Pheasant. A weaponsmith. Hi, Master Weaponsmith. No unmet needs. Hello, new favorite person. I nod. I nod. How long until I nod ruin? How long until our fortress ruins? I nod. Hunter. Peasant. I'm really not upset about all these peasants. Kind of what we need right now. Huge operator. Child. The big wave. What we want. Bunny. A hole. Is that it? No. A trapper. Uh, a tanner. And an ox for a yak. Cool. Is that everyone? Cool. We're up to one fifty again. That's been a minute. <laughs> that was like 20 some odd dwarves, wasn't it? Cool. Um, check. Um, 
red. That one. Okay. Want to see it? Show me that you understand. Okay, so that's that part is working. We're dying. Good way. on tombs for the moment like it not still but not all of them okay there oh well, we missed some Pet Am I hearing myself? Mute. Well, good. Okay, let's check up here. Ink. Good. This got made. I'm going to engage the power. Turn on, and then we will open this. Then we will dump. This should get some action. This 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 will upset some people. We have some creatures. Pack, donkey, bunny, alpaca. Oh. Lots of puppies. Forgetting about Abba's. Out of sight, out of mind. I'm actually gonna do a rope. This. Thin thread has been completed. Perfect. Burn and do cloth has been completed. designated item. We have 
So many melt designated items. No way you're out. I know I turned all of the told them to melt all the silver spears. Lick work? <laughs> all of our anvils. Our mayor keeps asking for anvils. Uh, let's go to weapons. Then. Silver spears specifically. We have almost a hundred silver spears marked for melting. What I got. Already. Um, and also just melt like stock mine. This stock mine. Locked. Anvils. What point do I just let you go crazy? Yeah, there's stuff in here. Token training axe. And he would blow gun. Um Holding on to my bronze stuff and my stuff, but nothing else can be melted. Be um, this. Let all the be <laughs> the wooden stuff in there. Maybe finds a different place. Okay. Melt. There. That. There's melt designated items. Merchants are leaving, that's fine. Never replace the tavern key. I don't know how much it matters either. No one's in here. Oh, there's a couple people in here. Socializing. Tavern key. Armors. And then keyboardist. Captain of the guard on the piano. Why not? Okay, so this got done. This is going. Perfect. Let's pull this lever. Magma! There's poor magma has not been sated. slow down, but that's fine. This is a long, long channel. 
expected. Magma. Beautiful. Beautiful. You can actually light these trees on fire, or these mean too. Well, that might be because I turned temperature off. No. Oh well. That fishes. They don't they don't react. <laughs> um, I'm gonna turn on temperature real quick just to see if that has an effect on those trees. I feel like it should. Other things were lighting on fire just fine otherwise. Oh, maybe because they're in the water? Pull down our frames. That didn't change anything. I'm gonna turn it back off. I'm gonna be able to measure exactly how much of effect that has on our frames directly. With all this magma flowing, I imagine it has an impact. Yeah, we're back up to 25. 10 frames just turning off temperature. So be cautious. Some people will turn off temperature just permanently and never turn it back on and mess with some other things and quant consequence in a situation like this having it off makes sense there would be a lot of stuff to calculate how do you feel about this great right some fish stick. Wait patiently. And yeah, cool. So this will this will just go for a while. There is so much lake in here. Closer. What do you think? I don't care. Bored after being unoccupied for so long. It's about to get real entertaining here. You're really just waiting. Okay, he's there's yeah, there's one there. I'll leave the, the character sheet open and it'll just disappear, right?
This is fine. There's not, you know, a, a magma flow above my head. Oop, gone. <laughs> Deleted. Um, I wonder if our, our walkway is going to be an issue. I just burn. I don't know how that works. Order cloud. Gone. <laughs> I don't have a name at all. Obscure balded. Grooved, grooved eaten. And clearly they're just gonna sit here and take it. <laughs> you even get like thoughts of watching them die. Nope. Self pity after being unable to argue for too long. Lonely. Frustrated. Listen, you came here. It was not my job to stimulate you. You all came here and sat in the pond. Refused to do anything else. Rotten bone body parts. Well, bone crafts are still going. Turn that off. Don't need more bone crafts. Good. Hey, crafts. That's. Bone crap. Oh, okay. Always cheese. Oh. One. Is that shield? No. This is all chalk. This isn't even wood. But yeah, there's going to be a strip of of not obsidian directly under this path that'll be fun to deal with this is all spreading out quite nicely satisfied cool we'll let that go Ravens get um okay. I'm gonna go ahead, let's do this. I'm gonna lock these again. We'll see if that helps. Do it while it's open. I guess that makes sense. Interacting. Lock. Nothing there currently. The thing I could do. that they can absolutely be in contact. Farming. There. Door. Here. Use the wall first. 
do that instead. An anvil. There's also, I'll try it out. Well, um, okay, so this needs to be linked. Very good. That's all we're making now. That is made, then we'll click a wall there. Take this out from above, and we'll be set. Also, go through. We have taken care of here. Care of over here. Probably mine some more obsidian too. This get done? No, not. Uh, bulldogs? Take it, bulldogs. I wonder if this is going to count as a possible entrance way now that we've flattened it out. I'll take the mo the bulldogs over the. Skull totem. Huh. Like the totem thing. Oh. Activity. We still have a bunch of stuff. We're taking the trash. That used to be a scroll bar's worth of garbage. Very hesitantly. <laughs> okay, so that goes there. Then this will assign male raven. I automatically get. Also, just. Actually. That ended up being the same path. just gonna run off. <laughs> That's fine. Um, okay. Could hold back. Hmm. 
<laughs> Here they come. The one, at least. Going. The long way? Okay. There is no closer I can tether you. Hey, where are you going? There. I've locked you all in a closet. I'll reproduce. Child? Yeah. Throwing a tantrum in the garbage pile. Throwing bones around. Nothing worth too much for you to destroy him. Playing with the corpses. Regretful after throwing something. It was gross. The half decayed cavefish person. All this we're taking. I'm gonna sit here. Goat has given birth. Jobs people. Weird. Fine. Making things again. One error. Okay. That's fine. We also have all our statues we can probably place. People who eat our library because there's tables there and it's ever so slightly closer to our food stockpile. Wondering if I fiddle with can set traffic pipe. I want to say. This stairwell doesn't get used as often. Really all that's doing is dealing with the weights of the pathfinding algorithms. Like by default, every tile is the same. But you can, with this, well, high and low traffic areas, a pathing through this square costs more pathfinding sense. Been going through this square. That's what I did down here. Have uh, like this whole royal bedroom set up up here, and we have our artifacts down here. And you can walk through either way, but I want them to go through the artifacts and not through the bedroom. So I set this as a restricted area, so it simply costs more path through here. They're always going to prefer this one. I don't have to like the burrows or locked doors or anything. But if someone has a job in here specifically, they can still pass it. The queen wanted to sleep in her bed. That goes there. There's only one way through. It'll still work. Well, that's cool. Oh. 
causing death and destruction. It's already drying up. It How do I fix that? This. Probably gonna kill someone. <laughs> Kill someone and not work. It would have only happened if there was water in this tile, but we're like three or four levels above the water. All I can think of is if it was mist. someone fuck the raven look we're making clothes hooray If they oh, there's someone in there. <laughs> well, you can come out. This box on I Having fun down there. Leave the door unlocked for now. Let's make sure our this we have. Okay, that was mined, but it still has a four. How the heck? Mm 
まそのDoesn't quite work. <laughs> you channel here, then it's gonna. Yep. Is water dripping through at the same time as the water, as the magma? Mm -hmm. That's what happened. This is a little aquifer. Hmm. Oh, I don't know how to fix that. I need to go. Aren't you? Really, that didn't. Doing the whole dang thing. Only come in here for specific library. I'll be right back. Keep an eye, keep an eye on those. Uh, okay. Are pondering the sun and could have been something else. Other thing that we can opposite. Fault. And you can fiddle with the weights here. Default is every square costs two. High priority traffic here. Prefer to use. Use a pack. That. Like, all. I press. Oh. 
laborious, be out of trash, and there's no way we're out of trash. There's much less trash than there used to be. Have a, a big empty space like that. All this. That flies. Love it. The other thing, I think it's time to look at our this. We are Magma's going down a little bit as we pump it up. more room down here for stock. Stock pile space. Fighting in the caves. Activity. Here. Putting a book away. How many books do we have? I mean, a couple get found. 34 books. Cool. Light of day question. Is the sun? Uh, manual entitled The Light of Day Question. Concerns the variation of daylight with the sun. I could just crank that up. Maybe that'll help. The distance between these chairs and the dining hall is so small. It doesn't help that my dining hall is huge, so to actually get to the table, that's the problem. right there. Have a mug. You have a mug. Fine. Okay. That works.
still hauling that raven, aren't you? Michael Klein. do this without murdering someone. Yeah, so there's water here. something from the square without staying in the square. Because I can't... I can't channel this block away without moving this block. Which would murder the person who's... Do it all the way from up here. is annoying. Um... Now I'll just throwing a tank. That. As well bring it down. We can channel out from up here. That's this is all. that okay <laughs> put a gate there or we don't even really need to. Wall here. 
panel here. Dig down again. Statistically. Work, work. I'm very perplexed as to how this happened. It's all still on fire. Justice. Little tantrum. Man. He's going to walk into the train room. A fight? It's a bad neighborhood to pick a fight in. The one here has a weapon. A few more doors and hatches. That seems to have an effect. All this junk. Yeah, so we made this. Fine. Aged door. Avas? So we can successfully reassign before already. <laughs> now, a berserk rage, of course. Now, if I unassign, and someone has to come by and, and let her free. Last time I did this, someone just put it right back in the cage. Oh, they're just gonna murder her. That's not what I was expecting to happen. Oh, we don't have a dwarf in a cage anymore. Never a citizen, even. I really don't know. Make a slap. Learn some more stuff about a person by 
This one's this one. I attempt to get all of my worn clothing together, didn't? Okay. This my uh, this is for really just lie. Use as to why used. Unless they just managed to collapse it. Huh. Okay. I don't know this isn't Something that I've noticed, but I don't really fully understand. Sometimes a stockpile will get full. Like this. Our food stockpiles were full, right? Stock full. And with just, like, stuff on the ground. Things that weren't in barrel. Sometimes a stockpile will reach over fullness. Like, you'll have people will come and they'll grab... We'll grab an item, and they'll bring it to a stockpile, and they'll put it on the ground, and then another person will come by later, grab that thing, and put it in a barrel in the same stockpile. Sometimes those will be two separate things. So you end up with a spot where all of the squares of the stockpile have been filled, and all of the barrels inside the stockpile are full, no one's able to take something off the ground and put it into a barrel that already exists. They're wanting to take a new barrel from somewhere else and put it into the stockpile so they can put things into the barrel, but there's no place in the stockpile to put the barrel. So it just gets gridlocked. So I think that's what was happening. Our like our food stockpile was totally full. We expanded it so it was this. This is also the same as food. Um Uh, oh. Here. Oop! Being seen. Finish that before I completely lose track. Face like this. This, and I'm also. And same thing like with this. Like we have all this stuff on the ground. Go in crates. But all these crates are probably full, so there's nowhere you can't put these in crates and you can't put a crate in the stockpile, so now it's all just gonna sit there. And all the things that are being made elsewhere are just sitting in the crafting places and it's now if I expand this. That now this and this are the same stockpile. Now, in theory, someone will come down and grab a crate, put it down here, and now, and then all of this stuff can start going into the crate. More crates can go up here, and it'll kind of fix itself. That's a thing I've noticed. Same thing down here. Like, well, these shouldn't even be in here. <laughs> this is just stray worn item. I 
random locked stuff in our files. I blame the child. Like this, can these apparently don't get to go in crates? For whatever reason. Oh, there's where all our buckets went. This one should. Bedrooms. Well. I signed. how I was able to assign them to these, lock them in, and it was just fine. And I tried it over here. Anyway, we're being sieged. squads on this little walkway here. Gigantic. Squads are... Not perfect, but not bad. Has been in the past. A station here. Check them out. I'm gonna guess this is another big one, and not just six. We're in that stage of the game where everything is nasty. Oh, someone actually wants to stay with us and soldier. Hasn't happened in a while. Might actually be a small one. One, two, three, four, five, six. Lucky number seven. No. Okay, so this is just like a, a war band, not like a bead from a site. It's just some bandits, basically. I think they'll even get inside. Not one of mine. Are you leaving or are you just... Oh, back here. Oh, you're gonna get distracted and try and follow it or... Guard the barons. You walk into the traps. There you go. Yeah, that way. Perfect. Went right over them. <laughs> there. Interesting pathing there. I'll just point in to look over at that <laughs> body. Um. Have, okay. Got our people. We're fine. Uh, let's follow this guy. Supposed hate conflict. Dead. Perfect. Yep, no more siege. Oh, there goes a thief. Let's you go kill that one. 
spell cast. We're just gonna run away. Oh, that thief is fast. Okay, fine. Oh, oh look at them all. Scatter. We're gonna get away. Whatever. Change complete. I can get rid of or pause my burrow. I'm also going to go ahead and clean up all this junk. Quite a bit of it. Let's see. Those, those are kind of decorative. <laughs> um... Wow, we're making more choirs. Wow. With garbage piles like this, he... Is my weapon trap still there? Break my weapon trap? Almost there. Thing. Wait for them to clean that up a little bit. Weapon, tra weapon traps back. It occurs to me that it would be smart to have garbage disposal near your hard points for exactly this reason. Our weapon traps are very good at exploding goblins and turning them into a pile of teeth. Then someone has to come by and take all those teeth, haul them down to the incinerator. Down below the kitchen. If I were smart, I'd have some way to. I, I think in the next fortress, I'm gonna have garbage disposal more central, more intentional, I guess. Um, like if you have a, you know, a magma pit at the bottom, you just have a single shaft that goes up. You just have a door on each level. And each level essentially has a garbage dump, and they sh garbage shoot. I mean, that's. Exactly what that is. Garbage chute with an incinerator at the bottom. So then you could go essentially all the way up to the surface. You have a little you could have like a little hatch up here. And or like a you know a little a little hut a little you know nine walls with a roof. Hatch inside. And instead of a door, you have it with a a bridge. You just have it locked at all times, and you go, it's time for garbage collection, you lower the gate. One just all stuff over and puts it in there, falls all the way down and then incinerates. It'd be way more efficient than what we're doing here. It's gonna take a minute. We'll grab this stuff and they have to go all the way down. All this. All this garbage. Run all the way down. How many people this is taking? Come all the way down. Then this way, and then down. It's down here. Here. That's the closest dump. This is where they have to bring it all. This could be more efficient. Always the case. Probably because the. But down here. We're working. Um, we can open the.
on this one too. Fill all this magma. Fill more stuff. Having more, I mean, we're expanding. Um, I think do two more kilns and two glass. This whole bottom set is going to be melters. That we really need it, but why not? Half the fortress to because it takes so long to reverse that. Doing here. Eating. Eating. Baron of Grizzle Orbs is like always here. Well, I was about to say I'm surprised we haven't had any more guilds show up and more populous, but we also like killed everyone, so I guess it think. Well, I guess. else and there's this nonsense the real answer is just to fill it all with weapon traps and call it good I won't make this cave safe I want this cave to be safe enough that I can do the rest of my throne room floor without murdering my fortress.
Assigned a work thing. Boxes. <laughs> uh, it's going good. Um, still can't get these ravens to reproduce. I can't get these eggs to hatch. Uh, automatically scan for and forbid fertile eggs in this box that won't come to I'm gonna turn that on. Helps. Unclear as to why <laughs> the birds just left. I I assigned them. So these are unclaimed still, but it forced the animal in there. No. No difference. I mean, I typically I Google it. Um, my the wiki has not really explained to me why I'm failing right. Now, I guess um, the wiki has information about this, but its its answers have not solved my problems. I'm I'm troubleshooting, I guess. Um, oh, merchants. Quest. Now. <laughs> yeah. Brave it is. Using new territory. I. Worn clothing. A leather. Is mostly worn except for three not worn socks. I can't sell my quitters. There. Pressing the wrong buttons. Single worn sock, why not? stuff not in crates immediately. Uh, yep. Um, mostly we're doing a lot of troubleshooting right now. Um, had dropped some more magma, but then it We've done this, but our our spigot got clogged. Um, we, here, somehow we got a pillar of obsidian that went up to the ceiling and, and plugged the hole in the ceiling. I'm I'm currently working on rerouting. 
take this. Working on rerouting it so that it'll come down here. We'll keep the whole container. Uh, I, think, I think what happened was it was basically being channeled down through Aquifer. So we just ended up with a blob of magma and a mist of water falling at the same time. Just turning into obsidian midair, essentially. I don't know how else that would work. That's continuing. Uh, I want to dig stuff over here, but it's just happening apparently. I'm taking out a whole lot of trash. We had a good migrant wave. We're up back up to 150. Did a lot of fiddling with our clothing and textile stuff. Um, I hadn't set up my my gobs quite correctly, so I wasn't using all the wool that we we're getting off of all our critters. But that should be going now. Um, fix the child. Good. So working on expanding my, my magma forge area. That. Um, so I won't. Magma oh. and like mm. workshop. blocks of magma yeah so for for magma forges um, all of these workshops have one tile of exposed magma underneath them and that's how magma sh magma forges in particular um, normal workshops I don't care um, these these all need magma because they are magma powered benefit to that, I'm, I'm working on Oleum? Um, there are non-magma versions of all of these things. You can have a, uh, you know, a smelter that's not a magma. Um, we're all Metalsmith. Furnace. There's glass furnace, magma glass furnace, kiln, magma kiln, smelter, magma smelter. There's not a magma wood furnace. Oh. Um, the benefit to this is that if you have, that you just have a normal smelter, and you want to turn a bar or like a rock, magnetite, iron ore, are iron. You have to use a unit of fuel in order to do so. You can you make charcoal or you find bituminous coal, lignite, uh, are the kind of the main sources of, of non magma fuel, I guess. You'll you'll consume a unit of fuel fuel to turn an ore into a bar, and you'll consume a unit of fuel to turn a bar into a weapon, etc. Um, even turning like a weapon back into a bar costs a unit of fuel. But if you build a magma thing, give it access to magma and it's powered, or not powered, it has access to the magma, it can do all the same jobs but without consuming fuel. Amazing. Three. You have to use the raw material, but you don't have to put, you don't have to input fuel to make all these work. That's the real power. Um, and like glass, in particular, you have sand on your map. You have access to magma. Make magma glass smelter. And 
hand is functionally infinite. Hey, more migrants. Oh my goodness. Let's build these real quick and then migrants. Um last. There. Throw. I'm gonna do four down here. I want to handle bits. That recline. Call on this, but no. Yeah, well, the rest of this can be stock. Um, <laughs> yeah, it's interesting how. We are way out in the middle of nowhere for our civilization. Well, this is all goblin stuff. Out here. So that's cool. Um, migrant. Whoa, giant groundhogs. Are they hostile? Do I need to protect the migrants from the giant groundhogs? Oh, they're shy. I don't want one. That one. I want to ride a giant war a giant groundhog. Terrified while in conflict. They don't like people, apparently. have woodworker, peasant, leather worker, <laughs> there's backing away slowly, engraver, clerk, for 158. Look, they brought a yak. Baroness is going to go chase down a gra giant groundhog. Yeah, there was... This is all elf. All stuff. Yeah, you're right. You have to go straight through an elven forest. And then through these um, weathered swamps. Forest and then just an empty swamp. No civilization here. The lair. Very cool. a lot of goblins. One of my got my tasks right now, um, now that we're finally getting migrants again, we, we're dealing with our trash. Oh, boots. Um, I want to make more soldiers and, and get them out, and I want to send more people off the map to go attack the goblin. I'm going to make this, this part of the continent goblin-free and then populate it with my fortresses. Kind of my long term. So much trash here. Somehow we lost a bunch of our weapon traps. 
or whatever. Uh, I want... Material I'm looking specifically for. Filter for the mechanism. I want it to be good mechanism. That seems to matter for what it comes. That worked. Okay. Then, number of weapons. I want. I need 10 weapons. One. Spears. Somewhere I have a pile of crap components. Like bronze ball. Large circuit. Long sit. Except I don't want. Specific. Turn off. I want to go back to the normal <laughs> interface here. Building plan. Turn off building plan. everything I'm looking at. Interesting. Like I could move these around. Is that the idea? Auto milk, auto shear. That's cool. Born starving. Ooh. That's probably cool. <laughs> Building placement. Yeah, 
Okay. Um, I want to select. Food mechanism. Five. All these mediocre mechanisms. someone to get better at making mechanisms. That's what I was saying earlier about the the magma forges. If you have a, if you have sand on your map, um, sand isn't harvested the same way as a lot of other things. You can take an infinite amount of sand, from a single tile, just infinitely reusable. As long as you have bags to put the sand in, basically. And if you have a magma glass furnace, you can make glass things. Without using fuel. Yeah, sand is weird. I don't have sand on my map. I have to import sand. Um, but if you have sand, you can use it like that. And you have infinite free glass, essentially. Glass is magma safe. You can build a whole magma pump stack out of glass. Great. Um, so if you can do that, I definitely recommend it. We'll go ahead and place this altars and forges. like no forge and a whole bunch of anvils or mayor So, uh, YouTube, so I'm watching episode one to watch. Oh, yeah. Um, we've made some progress. I mean, I started making this fortress, like, way upstairs. We basically made two fortresses. We had, a, we had a starter fortress, and then I moved it all down to this lower fortress over the, pro over the course of several streams. <laughs> Um, so you can kind of see how I started and, and just kind of set up the essentials and then slowly got settled in here. Our YouTube videos are slow going. Yeah, I mean, I put them up there in case anyone wants to watch them. I understand if people aren't going to them. I don't expect people to marathon the whole thing. Um, I also, I tried to put, well I did, but I tried to be good about putting the chapters, all of them. You can kind of see what's going on in each episode. I put like the, the highlights in the in the description as well. Fortress. 
Yeah, of course. I like having it all as there as like a record. Like now, it felt silly when like it was new and I was like streaming to no one and then put it up. And no one watches it. Fine. Um, oh, some a ghost is toppling over a coffin. Um, but now that it's like that happened three or four months ago, I need to go back and have like a record of everything. Everything that happens now, you can kind of go back and find a moment, like the moments that led up to it. Oh. Usharir Crypt Flax. Good ghost name. Uh, oh, that's a... Have a slab. Yeah, like I thought about editing them, but like spend as much time editing as I would streaming, and I don't have that. Yeah. This would. Yeah, it's hard to like find the nuggets, you know. Can't really just pick out a couple minutes and see. That's that's the important stuff that happened this week. Like, five seconds there, five seconds there, two minutes there. That's kind of the story. I want to try to make um, like instead of twenty to thirty minute episodes, I want to try to make little clips, like little minute long clips of just a single thing happening. immediately oh my god things are working oh we didn't trade let's trade right oh they're still unloading interesting been here for a little while yeah that's fair i mean that's good Kind of my instinct. I mean, it's. I would almost think the opposite because, like, my own watching habits are definitely not those two things. I, I like the, the thirty-minute episodes are kind of my jam. I, I always like those. Ooh. How much jump do you have? Having the whole raw thing there makes sense just because it's like half of the entertainment is the context of the stream. I mean, interacting with viewers and you know, it's like one long conversation essentially. So, like, even with Elden Ring, it's hard to like pull that down into 30 minutes. If I did, it would be 30 minutes of boss fights. I don't know how interesting. Sometimes you just gotta try stuff and see what works. Seems like different things work for different people and at different times. I have to go for it, I think. Ready? No? Never seen them take that long. Unless I screwed something up. Um, oh, perhaps. It's true, yeah. Furniture, spam.
Avis. <laughs> Alpha check on Avis's slab. I'm also going to turn that thing back on. It's useful, like, most of the time. people visit them like to pay respects? I don't think so. We'll see people come down here, but I think it's to like actually put things in the coffin. It'd be interesting though. We do have um we're placing item into our hauling hogs lower left back tooth. Nothing else. Person is hauling a single tooth to the tomb. Yeah, uh, that makes sense. Um, a lot of noble positions will, will 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 request a tomb, like your um, when you get a a baron. A lot of those kinds of nobles will say, "I want to I want a tomb designated." It'd be cool if they visited their gr visited graves for like remembrance purposes. Um, yeah. Done. Um. It's like they'll have memories. They'll they'll have thoughts thinking about their relations. They'll have a happy thought thinking about a person, or they'll have a an unhappy thought thinking about how they died, like that. And they'll get sad if there isn't a grave. They know if there isn't one, for sure. Like if their if their brother has to rot in a field, that's a bad. They don't ever you know, like go there on purpose to the grave. But, to my knowledge, I feel like that would be an easy addition. All the pieces fit. Um, I, oh, let's make sure I don't forget about, ready? Nope. Okay. Here we were good on bedrooms, right? Some of these should be. Have 200 bedrooms. Some of them double up when they're partners. Should be good on bedrooms. When the broker's leaving. Get back here. Oh, uh, the bedrooms? I, I got fancy. I saw this one on the subreddit. Um, but there's all these hallways with stairwells. Then they just come up into their little corner. There's two. There's like a sandwich. You have a layer of bedrooms, and then corridors, then a layer layer of bedrooms. I saw this one online. This is not my idea. Um, but you can see how space efficient it is. You don't have to have hallways go into every single thing. Um, also, it's not as obvious just looking at it, but there's, there's two spaces between each room, which is valuable for... We haven't engraved thing, engraved all of these yet, but when you get to the point of engraving things, um, making it so that rooms don't share a square, like share a wall, is good for the value of engraving, because the engraving will only apply its value to one side of it. You have down here where I did it wrong. My nobles' quarters. There's only the one square between each of these rooms, and they're all engraved. Like whatever square the dwarf stood on to do the engraving is where that engraving will be pulled from. Like it visually, it looks like both of these sides are engraved. It's only one of them. Well, the, and like numerically, its value will only apply to one. 
So if you separate them out one more square, right. then, the, then they all have their own wall. That's what I did. All these squares will only apply to this room. Well, to this room. like much less garbage in here than there used to be. It used to be filthy. I go for it. It's good. Definitely not. Like this is the first time I've done this specific setup. I was even thinking like I had this w this was how it showed up on the subreddit with the with the sandwich. Um, the two levels of bedrooms and one level of corridor. You don't even have to do that. You could do the level of corridor at the top, and then just have columns of bedrooms. Just have these be like up downstairs, and just have a, have stairwells go all the way down through each room. Which would be like you would that would mean you have to go through someone else's bedroom to get to your bedroom. Not that they really care. Uh, oops. Furniture stockpile is overflowing with buckets. Oh my god, the buckets. <laughs> I had too much lye, and then I got it all sorted. Now I have too many buckets. It all sorted down into these... Into these. Okay. Back here, broker. you. Drink out of the barrel. I do always like imagining a, bar a dwarf coming up to a barrel completely full of wine, just taking off the top and like just dunking their face in and sipping and then like on Mugs are a thing now. Mugs didn't used to be a thing. It does have a mug. I think technically they're coming up and they're like dipping a mug in. But mugs weren't always a thing. <laughs> they used to just drink straight from the barrel. Open up equipment. Trade at depot. Okay, good. Good, good, good. Mm hmm. Make them some mugs. Good way to use up all of the, like a bunch of the loose rock early on. Get all these lightning everywhere. Just tell them to make mugs. You have a task, do it properly. Like going for a drink in the middle of the trading session? Is that proper? taking so long to unload. I haven't seen that before. They're, even, they're gonna leave soon. They haven't finished unloading.
need to take all my clothes. Very weird. I don't know if it's just they have that much stuff. There's some limit to how much stuff that can fit here. They would need like a second diva or anything. That's never been a thing. Team coach retiring at 56. Yeah. Interesting that they retire. I guess that would be a big thing in, in a sports sim. People getting old. Which can mean like 30. to finish maybe there's gonna be like three frames where they're willing to trade and then they're all gonna pack it back up changing with age transitioning from playing roles back room yeah sense Trying to get them to coach for you afterwards. If I look away, they're going to disappear. <laughs> this stupid. See, they're leaving. Stuck all their stuff back up. They're gonna sit here and take forever to leave, too. I'm gonna make a spot for another one just out of curiosity. Never been a thing to need more than one, but. Look, it's gonna, gonna. I think they just brought too much food. All this. Too many fish. They didn't even ask. Well, okay. Um, 158, holy cow. Let's see if we can fix this. Okay. Then that immediately turned into aquifer because of... Goes all off after the first. An aquifer is square or collection of squares. Um, just produce water forever. Here's not gonna close this again. Leak out.
come up here. That's what I've been dealing with this whole level. Um, so if I click on, if I open the dig designator, you can see all these water drops. Um, that's, that's aquifer. Or damp. Like you see these little, little wavies means that's warm stone. A little water drop means it's damp stone. Damp stone, at least in this context, is a signifier of an aquifer. You'll get, you'll see the same indicator like on here. This is damp stone as well, but it's because there's a river there. So kind of obviously damp, but like here, there's no, there's no obvious body of water to make it damp. The stone itself is damp. This whole, like, you can see how big they are. Um, you can see this, this section here has aquifer, but like up here doesn't. Up here does, and down here does. Here doesn't, but here does. You can kind of imagine these middle bits being filled in with that too. Exactly. In real life, it's like you have um, kind of a loose fill, like imagine like bubble or like forest rocks, like sandstone or something like that. And it's just in, like permeated with water. So, I don't know, it's just water-bearing rock, basically. You can store a whole bunch of water, like in real life. A finite amount of water, but like a ton of water. Practically infinite for, for fortress reasons. Um, the way they behave, if I come in if I came in here and I find this. Then the, the adjacent damp stones that I uncovered will start just kind of dripping water into the, onto the floor. You can combat that by smoothing the stone. All of this is it's walls that I smooth, and then they stop leaking. Or if you um, mine and then you build a, a constructed wall, that won't leak. But if you're just just an aquifer like all this, just I abandoned this entire hallway, sealed it off, it was just full of water. It was a hallway, and it just slowly filled up. I like this too, it's just, like, it'll leak from the ceiling too. That's kind of the trick that I've been learning. Like, these, these walls are all smooth, so it won't, it's not leaking in horizontally, but there's aquifer on this level above, so it'll floor is leaking. Smooth this floor, then it's fine, but then, like, it, you, it's nuts. It's a whole thing. Um, I've been wrestling with this walk aquifer. Half the reason that we've abandoned the upstairs fortress and moved it downstairs is downstairs is below the aquifer. You don't have to deal with it. Okay, oh, there they go. Um, if I come to the old fortress, um, our our hospital here aquifer all this mud in our hospital because aquifer having to like coming down through an aquifer is complete nonsense um if you just try to dig a vertical stairwell down through an aquifer and aquifers are usually like multiple levels high you can see um, like this level's fine Right? Oh, there's some way down here. Uh, but then here there's aquifer, and here there's aquifer, and here, here, the way down. Like they can be very tall and very wide and very irregular. If you, and you can see <laughs> there's, a, there's a dead cat in here. <laughs> um, What you'll find is that if you if you just try to do this stairwell, like a one square stairwell, down through an aquifer, where are we at? Here. Like here. We dug stairwell down. Now this is this level's dry. This level is aqua. Now we've revealed this stone, so now all of these tiles are going to leak here. And because now the 
the stone beneath them is damp, they've canceled my dig order. I have to come back in here and manually tell them to do it again. Fortunately, we've already dug. Thing that always happens. Dig down. They'll see. Oh, that's an aquifer. So they cancel the next stair tile. And then that level starts filling in. And even if you're there and you tell them to like redesignate and you tell them to dig again, and then it cancels, and you tell them to dig again, and that cancels. Unless you manage to punch through the whole thing, your stairwell is filling with water currently, presently. As soon as it gets to four out of seven of depth, Dwarves will no longer path into it voluntarily. That's too deep. It starts incurring like swimming check. So someone stole a thing. Uh oh. I don't really know how to found find stolen items either. There's <laughs> some tactics like that. Um, problem I was having was digging down stairwells, and then the stairwell fills with water before you manage to punch through and deal with the water. So now it's just a pool of water that no one can go into to continue digging. So they just stop. <laughs> and it's. You have to start over somewhere else. Or the real trick. Getting through, the, getting through the aquifer the first time is the hard part. Once you're through, you dig up from below. What we did here. I went from both directions. Uh, but if you dig up and have a way for the water to drain out at the bottom, then it's fine. This, this is fine. Do some bar bars and out of iron, not so that's making sounds. Four o'clock G. Now there's there's a hole here. This is le this is leaking out into the the rest of the um call it the cave. Now the water can drain and it's not filling it. I'm gonna go ahead and tell them to smooth. Clearly that can cause issues. Or apparently. it all off and then okay. so yeah that's aquifers aquifers also come in two different density this is a light aquifer there's also a heavy aquifer uh, but i believe that just means that they leak faster Merchant's gone. That's. I don't want to trade anyway. Let's go. Here, this is all. I'll be working. Yeah. Um, I'm gonna ex our our main bar stockpile. I'm gonna go ahead and. Hand it down well. And... Hi. So we're, we're 
Milton objects. Last thing I'll do is while eating. Reading. Need to be here specific. I'm gonna set up two more fighting squads. I have it right now is that these are kind of the primary fight squads and then our guards. We're gonna turn into fight squads. Stick with that. So squads and they'll be all the way at the bottom and then two squads. Cool. Got all these people. Marks for you could lead a squad. This is big. I don't care about weapons. Get spared. Hours of igniting. Diamond finder. I like that. Former, don't care. Fair duty for you. Someone who. Who? In Spearman. I'm here to be a soldier. You can be a soldier. There's. Basically, I have I have our two main squads doing. Where is that? You. Two months on, two months off. I'm just gonna copy the whole block. That worked. On. Now they're all two months on, two months off.
And then I have like three extra. These barracks are their own thing. Sign powers of igniting. I don't want them to. Bring your stuff. This one. Oh, I made it just the same. Newberry. You are for the in the finder. Perfect. I'm also gonna make order for move the new. I think it's time to smooth, like, our entire fortress that we've kind of dealt with our garbage. Start with our milk. So, oh, and I need to make sure that they can train here. Also, here. grab some stuff and wonder by default they are told to wear their stuff while on duty this part right so look always no order with all of We're good. Okay. Okay. We're making progress. We got two whole migrant waves. Nothing bad happened. Nothing terrible happened. <laughs> only a, only a couple minor. Um, there was another ghost, wasn't there? A soul. Have a right. This is our, the dwarf that was in a cage, went mad, and we murdered him, her. In memory of Abba, is born 45, struck down by Dascot, Dacost, with a steel spear, ended with Gabro. Not a very informative slab. Used. Um, yeah, but our clothing situation getting better. Look, they're cleaning up the stuff. 
Now it's not, now it's just the clothing and not the body parts that are left. Clothing everywhere. <laughs> Our little artificial. Okay, here. I mean, we're down to seven grumpy people. We're working on our clothing. Uh, let's check our um. What to do? Do auto clothing. So I'm not running auto clothing, but if you just run it, it'll tell you some stuff. Uh, currently set zero orders. Following units need bodywear, 19 have some things to make. Seven need shoes. Everyone needs a hat. Fine. Underwear's fine. You have some. Like we need. We need. Four, so 14 dwarves need legwear, but we have two legwear. Obviously, we need some more hats. Fine. Um, I'm also going to want to make some more steel stuff, because I imagine our new squads... Oops. Two steel breastplates. Steel oh, shirts. Steel gauntlets. Steel things. What I'm doing? I have to look at my five. Some some build as well. And the trick is all sized for Uber people. That'll all go next week. Get them all kitted out, good to go. Train them up, send them out to go assault some goblins on the world map. Main plan. We'll, we'll keep on with her magma situation. Thoughts move. going to be and this is all fine perfect them to that so we'll we'll resume here was fun um my my brain's not 
freaking so thanks <laughs> i'm glad you enjoyed it i feel like i'm plodding along but um we're making some progress um i think we're we're about ready to start uh, a project our geo influence on the world map and I want to finish our throne room i want to finish the magma pouring and killing fish people and my immediate goals um sure one thing to find down below we have dug as far down as we can so i go exploring um but yeah uh more of this on monday i am thinking that i'm gonna try um i'm gonna push the start of a door for four workers streams down by, by an hour but you're aware i will be going an hour later starting an hour later ending an hour later what happens I'm curious um more sekiro on saturday I'm gonna get murdered a whole bunch by that headless thing i have no idea what i'm doing with that that'll be fun <laughs>